Welcome viewers and subscribers. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to plot your surveyor's diagram using AutoCAD. So for young people who are aspiring to become a drafts person, or if you want to go further in becoming an architect or an engineer, I think this is a video for you. So in the last video, I've shown you steps on what you should do before you actually start to do your working drawings or your design. So this video serves as a follow-up to that previous video. So if you're a young drafts person, this video is for you. So I'm going to demonstrate to you how you can go about plotting your surveyor's diagram report. Because the first thing you want to do, and as I've mentioned in the previous video, the first thing you should do when you get a design is to see how big your land is and if the land size can accommodate the size of your proposed design. So stay tuned for this video. And as usual, I want you to watch the video until the end. And if you're a first time viewer of this channel, please to subscribe. And if you have been watching the channel and, you're, and you have not subscribed thus far, please I'm asking you to subscribe, watch the videos to the end. Because if I do not get the viewers, the viewership of the videos is you know, at some point, I think I'm going to have to, you know, make some adjustment. So, in no further delay, so let's get right into this video. section of this video I am going to demonstrate to you how to plot your surveyor's diagram. Now when you have gotten the survey reports from your client you should ensure that the bearings is on the surveyor's report and the bearings is what you're going to use to plot the surveyor's diagram. In the event, and in most cases, you're not going to get the bearings on the surveyor's report. So, should in case that should that happen, you get in touch with the owner, ask the owner to reach out back to the surveyor to get the bearings. If not, you can reach out to the surveyor, ask the surveyor to email the bearings so that you can plot the diagram. Because when you have the serve, when you have the bearings, you will plot a more accurate diagram than if you should draw it as you see. Because if you are going to take the angles from the diagram itself, it's not going to be accurate. So when you get the surveyor's report with the field notes, and the field notes has reflected on the diagram, the bearings, it makes life much more easier. So I'm going to get into the video by plotting the surveyor's diagram. So this is the field note here. So field note one, north 89 degrees, 37 minutes west, 44.828 meters. The second line is north, eight degrees, 32 minutes east, six meters. The third line is North, 8 degrees, 32 minutes east, 14.996 meters. And the fourth point is 88 is south, 88 degrees, 41 minutes east, 44.725 meters. And our last point is south, 8 degrees, 31 minutes west, 
20.255 meters. So we are going to start looking into draw up this surveyor's diagram. So ensure that when you're drawing your surveyor's diagram in AutoCAD, you do not have your author on because you usually use author when you're when you're drawing horizontal and vertical lines. So you ensure to click off your author because you're going to draw diagonal diagonal lines and lines of various angles. So the first the first point is north 89 degrees 37 minutes west 44.828 meters. So the first step is you hit the line command you hit at a point you click at a point on this on, on, on your screen then you hit the shift on this sign here the less than sign which means angle so you 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 press shift that less than sign on your keyboard so it's shift that less than sign on the keyboard and you get this symbol here so you're going to type in the first point which is north 89 degrees and remember to put the d 40 degrees 37 minutes west and then you press enter so you see now it is locked into the position and the direction of the line so that line is 44 point eight to eight meters so this program is set up in millimeters so 44.828 meters is 44 Eight to eight millimeters because we're going to multiply that figure by a thousand and remove three decimal places so we're going to type in four four eight two eight and then we're going to press enter right so that's the first line there right the second point is so we're going to go and enter on your shift board get your keyboard shift the less than sign that comes up so we're going to enter in north 8 degrees 32 minutes east and then enter so you see enter it comes into the direction where the line is going so that line is six meters or six thousand so enter six thousand millimeters so that's the distance of the line the third point is north 32 north 8 degrees 32 minutes east 14.996 meters so we enter again shift that less than sign we enter north 0 8 degrees 32 minutes east and then we, we press enter so we see we get the direction in which the line is going so now that the length of that line is 14.996 meters so it's going to be 14.996 millimeters so we enter 14.996 enter so now we have gotten the the third point so the fourth point is south 88 degrees 41 minutes east 44.725 meters so we repeat the process shift that less than sign we enter now south 88 degrees 41 41 minutes 41 minutes east and then enter so you see we have the direction in which this line is going so that line of a length of 44.725 meters so that is going to work out to be 44.725 millimeters so we enter 44.725 and then press enter on your keyboard so we're up to the last point so you can go ahead and close this last point here if you want to but let's see if it's closed 
So in the event that there's errors in the field, you're not going to get your diagram to close. So I'm going to show you what you can do in this instance. So the last point is shift that angle sign, less than sign. We have south 08 degrees, 31 minutes west, and we, and we hit enter. So you see, it's going towards closing the line here. Let's see if it closes. So we're going to enter the distance now. That distance is, is 20.255 meter, which is going to work out to be 20.255 millimeters. So we enter 20.255, enter. So you see, it closes. No, it doesn't close. So it is right here, right? So it doesn't close because there's a small error in the field. So what you can do to merge these two points, you can go to fillet and you hit, you hit this line and you hit this line and there you have it, it's closed. So this is how you plot the surveyor's diagram. And this is this diagram here that I've replotted here. Right, so that is how you plot your surveyor's diagram. So, in the event that you are given the width of a road, so let's, let's in this case, the center line of this road is 20 feet, which is 60, 60, 6,095 millimeters. So, if you want, you can offset this line. So, you go to, you can type in O, enter, and you specify your distance, which is 60.95, enter, and then you after the center line of the road here. So this line here represent the center line of your road. So in the event that you have read your title and your title gives you your setback, and let's say from the each side, from this side of your property line, and from this side of the property line, the title might tell you to offset 10 feet. And from the center line of the road, the, the title might tell you to offset your building by 40 feet. So you, let's do that. So we're going to offset this, this center line here by 40 feet. So we can go here, offset again. We enter our distance. 40 feet is, is around 12 12,000, sorry, 12,000 12, millimeter. So we hit enter and we offset this line here, right? So that is our 40 feet here. So if you're gonna take, take 10 feet away from this boundary, 10 feet away from this boundary. So let's do that. So we hit the offset command again and we go 10 feet is equivalent to about 3,000 millimeters, so it's three, zero, zero, zero. Enter. So we offset this line by, by 10 feet, this line by 10 feet. So let's say for argument's sake, your building is about 40 feet long. So, so 40 feet will be 12,000 millimeter. So we're gonna offset this line 12,000 millimeter. So we go again. Offset, specify your distance, 12,000, enter. So we offset this line by 40. So you have this space here. So this is going to be the space that you're going to design your building for. This space here. Let me clean this up for you. So this is your design space for your building. So in the event that you're going to take the setback from the eave, you know, typically our eave is one foot six inches, right? Which is equivalent to 450 millimeters. So let's offset this. So we have zero, you have zero enter, O enter, right? We're putting back 450. So we know that this here, 450, which is one foot six inches, is going to represent the wall of your building. So we're going to trim that. We're going to clean this out. So 
we clean this out so now this space here so we can let me just ask this so that space is going to work out to be your your design your design space so so that space there is going to work out to be your design space right so this art space here is going to work out to be your design space so you design within this within this area you measure this distance so you know that your building is going to measure um your design your building is going to measure this is 35, color 36 feet. And if you should repeat that. So your bill is going to be um, 40, 44 feet by 35 feet, by 36 feet. So that is your, your, your building, right? So in this case, the, this, land, this land is about a quarter of an acre. So this land space, this land is big enough, can hold a good size building. But as I mentioned to you before in the last video, if you have gotten, when you plot your surveyor's diagram, if the land size is not big enough, then it's very important to do this because you do not want to design a building and then when you try to fit it on the site, when you take your relative setback according to what the title restriction say, the restrictive covenant and um, stipulate you do not run into problems so that is it for this video so i've shown you how to plot your survey as diagram and to take out the area of your your, your 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 space on your land on your property which you can design as i said this land space was big enough but you can get land which are much more smaller and it's going to you have you, you're going to have to do this to ensure that your building can fit on your land so that is it again for this video remember to like the video share the video subscribe hit the notification bell and i'm going to catch you in another video upload and i just want to say this before i go my channel is just about imparting knowledge to people or persons who want to learn so if you want to learn this is the channel for you if you want to learn about construction engineering and architecture this is the channel for you so take care of yourself and enough respect okay good